New concept for it is for the engine. This engine is constructed without crank shaft, connecting shaft, connecting rod, and all other accessories which is required for a normal performance stock engine. In this engine, basic relative motion is achieved in a casing of the square. This square casing, if its size is A, then this diagonal will be root 2, A root 2. So, we are getting one expansion axis and another contracted axis. This axis is reduced and one is diagonal is increased if we use a rotor at the center place and radially we make an arrangement of piston movement like this and piston moves inside it having one roller at this end another roller at this end so this dynamic this particular mechanics of this engine will work as a eight stock engine. You can see how this engine will work. This engine will work in this following manner. You can see here whenever a piston is here roller is here so it will start right from here having a working stock up to this place there will be one expansion and this one will go outside this will be the second position and so on in this position a force component will be this direction which will give a torque to the rotor and whenever this stock will activate due to expansion on the piston, then this will start rotating this rotor. Simultaneously, there will be another phase starts. This is, you can say, uh, 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 this will be the exhaust. This will be the exhaust. Here, exhaust will start and again. Up to this point, C, there will be an exhaust stop. Again, further, it will go and it will be a suction stop. It will be suction stop. And further from C to D, this suction stop will complete. Afterward, D to E, it will be again a compression stop. It will be compression stop. And after compression, it will be further working stop as here. Working stop. Here it is again working stop. So you will see that working stop is this one. This is working stop. So, uh, you can find here that there is one cycle of power stock engine is completed and in the same manner, remaining this portion will have again all the power stock will complete. And again, this two working stock, we will get two working stock, we will get in one cycle of engine, one revolution of engine. And as there is no crankshaft, there is no camshaft. So, all bars opening and closing are central and all input to the as fuel, air, fuel and air will be through shaft only. This complete casing 
can be filled with the lubricant and the lubrication is inside it. All arrangements will be made within this case schema. So, this engine will generate more energy per cycle. It will be a compact engine and it can work up to good extent. This engine can work on gas as well as petrol and diesel. This concept can be further explored for the sensibility. I can see this small video and conceptualize this particular engine. Thank you.